Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or X Code A. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from, inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. Today's video, I was thinking to myself, what's a spooky story that I could tell you because it's almost Halloween, whoa. Halloween is obviously a holiday that I don't participate as an adult, but whenever this time of the year comes around, it makes me look back on all the scary things I've done in my life. And I have three stories to tell you guys, and here's one of them. So this story takes place back when I was about 16 years old, and it was a period of time where me and my friends were constantly going into like abandoned buildings it was a thrill dude we wanted to see a ghost we wanted to see some paranormal stuff man like there was a couple different buildings that that a couple friends of mine went into with audio recorders and we're like asking them a bunch of questions like the ghosts are in there asking them a bunch of questions and like they got a bunch of feedback and it made us all really scared to go in there it was a thrill man for sure and my entire life growing up in my hometown I always drove past these three buildings that was on this kind of like back roads to like towards the back end of the town and it was just like decrepit, overgrown, looked like a place you did not want to go. You could barely even see the entrances to these places and my friends had told me a couple times that they had gone there to smoke, it was like almost like a cool party spot. But every time I drove by it as a kid, it would give me the shivers, make me shiver in my boots. And now I know I start a lot of my videos off where I was skating around town with my friends drinking Arizonas. That's literally all we did. Like, we just smoked weed, rode around in our skateboards, and fucking drank Arizonas, man. And that's exactly what we were doing on this day. And the convenience store is actually kind of close to this spot. We're sitting outside the convenience store trying to figure out what to do. As my grandfather would say, chewing the fat. I love that expression. One of my friends was like, dude, let's go to the shit shacks. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is that? And why does it have a name like that? And he's just like, dude, we go up the road and there's these three abandoned buildings that are super cool. I know how to get into all of them. Let's go. And I'm sitting there like, all right, let's do it. Like, dude, you got nothing else to do, man. But I was sitting there like, ah, abandoned buildings. My dad had told me throughout my, you know, this period of time, never go into abandoned buildings. There's asbestos and mold. And I'm like, fuck it, let's have a good time. Which is definitely true. If you're ever going into an abandoned building, wear a face mask. It's definitely required. There's a ton of asbestos, black mold, but let's keep going. So we skate on up after getting fueled by that sweet Arizona iced tea. Sounded like an advertisement at this point. Listen, hit me up, Arizona. I say sweet because it probably has 500% of your daily sugar intake in them. But anyways, they, they hit, all right? They're fucking amazing. We skate all the way up to this hill, which leads to these buildings. I'll go on Google Maps right now and give you a picture of exactly what I'm talking about. Would you go in here? I don't know why I did. There was three buildings. There was a house, a barn, and then a, like almost like a hotel looking, looking place. Fun fact, I guess Martin Luther King stayed in one of these houses back in the the old days i'm not exactly sure what he was doing there but that's what i've been told as soon as we get there i'm starting to bitch out internally i'm starting to get the shivers i'm starting to be like ah oh, guys you know what maybe we shouldn't do this and they're like come on pussy let's go so we approach the house and cannot find a way in they had recently boarded up the the door and the all the windows everything was boarded the fuck up we actually did find a way to get into the house but i'll save that for the second story so after defeat Okay, and by the way, I forgot to mention, as we're walking up to this house, number one, it's looking like a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode, and second, it is so overgrown. I don't think I've ever walked through grass that was like, I'm like six feet tall, well, actually, at the time, I was probably like five, five, but anyways, listen, the grass was up to here, dude, it was crazy, it was, I was weaving through like an Amazon jungle, probably getting 30 ticks per second or something, listen, we finally get away from the house, we start walking over to this barn, and it's like... The, the roof's collapsing, all the windows are completely shattered like someone had thrown rocks in them. It just looked like not a vibe, not a vibe whatsoever. We have to climb over this wooden structure to get in because all the doors were boarded shut, but this one had a gigantic gaping hole in the side of it, so it was really easy to get, in, get into. And the moment I, I stepped into this barn, the moment my feet hit the ground, number one, the ground was like soggy it was fucking nasty it was just dirt ground kind of leading past old horse stalls and the moment i stepped foot in this place 
I get this sensation of just like horse piss. Just absolutely disgusting. It, it smelled like they let 30 horses in this place on a pit stop just to take a piss and just left it all there. Just to ferment to keep people like us out of there. And I can't even describe to you in words how much of how much this looked like a horror movie. Like I'm looking down the barn and it's just like this long hallway with like a room at the end and you can't even see what's in there because it's all dark all the all the windows are boarded up i feel like i said that five times already listen and we're just kind of slowly making our way past the horse stalls and this is where it gets creepy man towards the end of the hallway towards the room there's just like a high chair like a baby high chair sitting there there's like a couple like random dolls set up in the horse stalls like really dirty like they'd been left there for 30 years really creepy and now we did something so stupid we get all the way to the end room like it's so dark in there but there's like this super sketchy stairway that leads up to the second floor imagine going to a second floor of a building you already saw the roof collapse on Anyways, we had no regard for our safety. We make our way up the steps and that the boards are fucking creaking. I feel like I'm going to fall at any point in time. We get up there and like the floor is half half collapsed, dude. Like I don't I don't even know how we didn't fall through the floor, but like the majority of the floors half collapsed, but it's also light up there because the roof is like there's a gaping hole in it. I didn't want anything to do with up there. I went right back downstairs. My friend's like, no, no, come on, let's smoke weed, let's smoke weed. I'm like, let's find somewhere else, dude. I'm not trying to die today. We make our way back downstairs. I couldn't stop looking at all the, the kids stuff. Like, why was there a, a kid's high chair and dolls all over this horse stall? I had no idea why. But now we're determined to find a place to smoke. And we noticed if we climbed right over this wooden, this, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like, it like was a door at one point, but it was like kind of stuck shut. We had to climb our way over one of the horse stalls and it, it led to this like other area of the barn that we didn't really see the first time going in there. And this actually opened up to like a whole section of the barn that my friends haven't even been into. And it was like relatively not, disgusting you know it didn't it didn't have that horse urine smell like the previous section of the barn if i had to guess this is where they maybe put tools or something and not 30 gallons of horse piss so we all gather up we have this pre-rolled zigzag joint dude i loved the zigzags at that point the uh the, the ones that have like a white hologram logo on them and then the orange one and one fourth zigzags i'd always have those on me man put them in the back pocket skate around take them out they're all stuck together because i've been sweating all day terrible times but anyways a friend i was with was notorious for being able to roll the best joint he was like this was before I knew how to roll. He was the designated roller. There's always one dude in the group that like, here you go, man, roll it up. He pulls out this probably one and a half gram, one and one fourth joint. That's a lot to be putting in one of those. Everybody's getting all excited. He lights it up and we pass it around that 70s show style, hot boxing this fucking little tiny room at the end of the hallway. And I'm just getting more and more scared as it goes on. I don't know what it was maybe it was the weed intensifying the environment the situation but the vibes were fucking not good i'm sitting there like all right dude we gotta get out of here we gotta get out of here man my, all my friends are laughing at me like dude stop being a pussy come on dude finish the joint take another hit bro take another hit i'm sitting there like all right <laughs> trying to fucking speed speed smoke through this and they're like hey stop speeding it and then they're bitching at me because i'm start, it starts to canoe on the side Listen, you gotta you gotta hit a joint slow. If you hit it hit it like a fucking cigarette or something, you're gonna just canoe the sh shit out of it and ruin it. Don't be that guy. All right, never be that guy. The the joint is almost out. I'm t nine out of ten high. Like a couple hits off a bowl would get me fucked up back then. Let alone a whole gram joint or whatever, however much was in there. And at this point, it's getting dark outside, so it's getting even more eerie and just why am i here that's the only thing going through my head like all right we smoked let's get the fuck out all my friends are just sitting there laughing having a good time and i'm like the only one freaking out like dude let's go so i'm doing anything i can to distract myself looking around analyzing how many boards are on the wall that kind of shit and i look up and on the rafters on the top of this like tool shed section of the barn there is literally a noose like a real full-size noose just hanging off of the rafters and a moment i see that i'm like dude what the fuck is that and all my friends look up at it and then all of them have eyes wide as dinner plates like dude what the fuck and now now we're all just like wow wow 
now we're in this fucking haunted ass barn. Someone ha fucking killed themselves right there. Now we're all scrambling over this wooden structure, running, running past the horse barns, finally getting outside. It was the scariest time I'd ever smoked weed, straight up, other than almost getting caught by the cops. It even looked like the noose was swaying back and forth. Like, you, could, you can't even make this shit up, man. This is like straight out of a horror movie. It was like 9 out of 10 high to 2 out of 10 high. Just like immediate adrenaline rush through my body, fight or flight reaction. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, I'll never forget, as soon as we got outside, wading through the high grass, I'm like, I'm never going back there. Not even a week later, we went back. But anyways, not we never went back into that barn. And number one, we didn't need the, the horse piss terps. The dolls and the, the high chairs was enough for me, but seeing a fucking swaying noose after after hotboxing the shed, like, fuck that. You know when you see a video on YouTube and it's like, you gotta have a right set and setting for doing drugs, especially like psychedelics, that kind of stuff. This was like beyond the worst I could ever imagine. As soon as we got out there, I, I look at all my friends like, dude, have you seen that before? Like, what the fuck? Why would we go in there, man? This shit's probably haunted as fuck. Now we're gonna bring a ghost back. <laughs> they're like, dude, it's probably just some rope for the shed, man. And I'm like, yo, you all saw it and freaked out with me. Don't fucking tell me that, man. And out of all my friends, only one of them was actually scared as soon as we got out there. Like, none of them were like, oh, fucking I'm high as hell, dude. I don't give a shit. You know? I'd love to go back there. I really would love to go back there and like show you this exact thing. Sadly, they demolished all the buildings. Honestly, it was a long time coming. Like, this place was falling apart then. I can't imagine what it would look like now, 10 years later. God, I'm getting old, man. 10 years ago. Holy fuck. I want to know, what is the scariest, most spooky time that you've ever smoked weed? Like, have you, have you guys ever gone into an abandoned building and smoked? It really makes you feel like you're in the movie Grave Encounters. Like, all the doors are going to start swapping on you. You should check that movie out if you haven't already. It is a fantastic movie. Side note, I just watched a movie called Barbarian on HBO. Holy shit. That's the scariest movie I've seen in years. Like, I actually jump scared a couple times. Like, let me know what your scariest time smoking weed in the comments down below. I would once again like to strongly advise you guys, if you're ever going into a building like this, number one, what the fuck are you doing? Second of all, wear a fucking face mask. Not one of the face masks from the gas station. You're gonna want, like, a full, like, painter's face mask. One that actually covers your face because there's literal asbestos and black mold all in these old buildings, especially the abandoned ones. In the second story coming up in a future video, uh, we actually did walk past a bunch of asbestos piping because I actually brought my dad there a second time. So he, the moment we stepped in there, he's just like, oh, man, there's asbestos right there. Just like I told you, Cody, you know, I told you so one of those. Seriously, be safe. I, I don't even think there's any way to be safe going into an abandoned building, so I'm not recommending it whatsoever. If you guys would like to support my channel and get access to secret, unlisted smoking videos, check out my Patreon page for a dollar or two a month. You can support the channel and get access to the unlisted videos. Here's a list of all the names on screen supporting me over on Patreon. Thank you very much to everybody on screen. Your support really helps me out. I'm excited to bring you the next two stories. One of them, we ended up getting chased out of this place by fucking animals. And the third one is truly one of the scariest situations I've ever been in. If there was ever a time in my life where I thought I saw a ghost, this was it. So look forward to that one. Leave a like if you guys are excited for that and if you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy.